the International Day of the Girl Child is celebrated on the 11th of October. In Lagos, Nigeria, Vivian Fowler Memorial College for Girls, in collaboration with Niran Adidoku, celebrated the day with three female filmmakers. The main purpose of the event was to promote girls' empowerment and fulfillment of their human rights. I think the world is generally tilted against the woman. Um, and I think that needs to begin to change. Um, and I think that the process of changing it will have to start by talking to people, men, girls and boys, since they are the future, so that people understand that the equality of you know, human beings is the only way that our world can survive. So I like to use opportunities like this to let girls and boys know that it's an, it's, it's, for, for the world to grow, for all of us to be at peace, we have to ensure equality. And the, the, the place to start, you know, is to talk to boys and talk to girls. So on a day like this, um, in celebrating girls, I felt that like it was necessary to encourage them and to let them see themselves for who, you are, who they are. And the, whole, the best way to do it for me is to bring some of these ladies who are accomplishing what they are doing. It serves as a meeting point for young girls, you know, to see the possibilities of who they could be, um, to sort of have an inroad into what their future could possibly be. A lot of young girls have dreams, um, have passions, have aspirations, but are not sure if they are valid. They're not sure if they're viable, you know. So it usually helps when they see women who are successful in their field, women who are already doing it. The event, which held at the school, started with the screening of two films, one titled Heavy Beauty, about a pregnant teenager who participated in a beauty pageant by Grace Edwin Oko, and the other titled Amaka Kin by Tope Oshi, which highlighted the work of the late foremost female Nigerian director, Amaka Igwe. What's your problem? Remember, silence is the best answer for big things. There was a reading of the book Ladies Calling the Shots by Nira Nidoko, which focuses on Nigerian filmmakers in Nollywood. The 2016 figure is even more, is even 2% lower than the 2015 reality. The filmmakers shared some of their personal experiences with the children while also highlighting the challenges they face as female in Nigeria. As a filmmaker, as a producer, I'm looking for money all the time. You hear people, you know, you hear people like, so what can you do for me if I give you this money to make this film? You know, even with the fact that I, I am married, it's irrelevant. And it's not because you are attractive or like they find you desirable. It's just a, a thing of just wanting to suppress, of using power over, if you understand, you know, so just being female. Some of the students also expressed their joy at the event and shared some of their takeaway. I learned that no matter your gender, you can still make an impact in the world and you don't have to limit yourself to different things. Even if you want to try something, always be free to experiment, explore, do what you can while you still can and make the most of it. The panelists also had advice for the girls and talked about the importance of such. They always have to keep their eyes on the goal and the goal is to become a, you know, a great person in the future and for you to become a great person in the future you have to focus, you have to study and you have to just be the best at whatever it is that you do. For Mona Jefe, for Plus TV Africa. Thank you.